How's it going everyone? Welcome to my unboxing and review of the Back to the Future 1-6 scale Marty McFly and Einstein from Hot Toys. Here's a look at the cover. It has the movie poster and the logo on the front. And if you go down to the bottom right hand corner, you have the movie masterpiece and Hot Toys logos. This is MMS 573 from Hot Toys. On the top of the box, you have the movie logo. On the side of the box, you have sort of the wraparound artwork with, that's a little funny, sort of a semi-transparent DeLorean on the side there, uh, with the logo. And on the back, you have all the credits and legal information. And at the top, there's also sort of this retro Back to the Future logo. I kind of like that. The other side is the same with the wraparound artwork and logo. On the bottom of the box, you have another Back to the Future logo. So once you remove the lid, you get an inlay sheet with an image of the DeLorean in hover mode with the out of time license plate on the front of the car for some reason. Uh, I don't know why it's displayed like that. It's always on the back of the car, but you get the time circus display towards the top and sort of this Hill Valley courthouse scene towards the bottom. And once we remove that, then here are the figures in the packaging display. Let's take the plastic covering off. There we go. This set looks absolutely fantastic, I think. So in this set, in addition to the Marty figure, you get his red backpack you get his skateboard, and let me just remove this. You get his digital watch, headphones, and his tape player, and a Hill Valley newspaper. There's also a camcorder, and his bass. You also get three pairs of additional hands. Let's get the Marty figure out. And I think this is a really good likeness of Michael J. Fox. I think it looks a lot like him from most angles. I think it might be a slight improvement over the previous Marty release from several years back. I think they did an outstanding job on the clothing got the orange life preserver with the buttons along the edge on both sides there. Stitching is really good. You've got the jeans jacket underneath with the three pins. Let's see if I can zoom in, focus in on that. There you go. I think this looks great. And you've also got the lining on the inside of the jacket. Wow, that looks great too. Black suspenders, uh, the white collared shirt, and his red t-shirt underneath. Man, they, they did an outstanding job on the clothing. Um, then you got his jeans and his sneakers too. So I took the rest of that plastic wrap off and I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, but if you can see on Marty's sneakers, they actually used kind of a wash on them, which I think looks really good. It just adds a little bit more realism to them. And then here are the treads on the bottom. But his other accessories include his red backpack, which I didn't even realize only had like, it has like a kind of like a double strap it's like a single strap that you wear, but it's like, it's doubled up in the back. I never realized that before. It's even got a zippered compartment so you can open the front compartment of this, which is really cool. They did a great job with all of these. Here's a skateboard. Lots of detail on that. They actually added sort of weathering on the back of it and on the front too as well as the wheels to kind of show wear. But the detailing on this is, is really great. Got the camcorder too. 
Lots of detailing on that. It's got all these small painted pieces on it, which look really, really good. And let me take Einstein out. There we are. Einstein is more of a statue just because there really isn't much articulation to him. Even the one piece of articulation they gave to him, which was the neck, doesn't really move that much at all. So he's pretty much a statue, but I think he looks pretty good for, for what he is. I mean, I wasn't really expecting the Einstein figure to do very much except maybe just sit there, but maybe I'll try to fit him into the DeLorean. Here's the instruction sheet, which is taped to the bottom of the clamshell. The instruction sheet basically just tells you how to get your figure to use the accessories that come with it. So here's one portable audio cassette player it can be placed into the jacket's pocket as shown. There's a hand for holding the skateboard and the camcorder and the save the clock tower page. Use the indicated hands to hold the accessories respectively. All right. And caution, do not excessively bend the arms or legs or bend them outward, otherwise the figure will be damaged. Don't rub the figure with thinner, benzene, alcohol, or any corrosive materials. Would never think about doing that, which could damage the material. Do not place the figure in areas with high temperature and humidity or direct sunlight for extended amount of time, otherwise it will be damaged. So, good to know. Here's the base that the figure comes with. It has the Back to the Future logo, and then it says Marty McFly on the nameplate here. And then here's, here's the waist grabber, I think is what it's called. But the thing I noticed is that it's just sort of the basic stand. I'm not too happy about that. Plus, there's really no place for Einstein on the base either. So this really is just a stand for Marty. Einstein doesn't come with a base. So, actually there's, I don't even know what this is, there's like nothing in here. So by default, Marty comes with his two relaxed hands, but he also comes with these, which according to the instructions look like they're for holding the Save the Clock Tower paper in either hand. And these are for holding his skateboard, and then he's also got a left sort of open hand. Here's a closer look at the headphones and the cassette player. The cassette player doesn't open in case you were wondering, but they've got all these little buttons around it. I think it's pretty cool. You can even see sort of the inside through the through the window there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cassette player in his jacket and I'm gonna attach these headphones around the neck. So on the inside of his jacket, there's actually an additional pocket. You can see that. So you can put the cassette player in there like that. And then to attach the headphones, I'm gonna take off the head comes off pretty easily. And these guys are gonna go around here. So put the head back on, there we go. Just the cord a little bit so it looks a bit more natural. There we go. Here he is with the backpack. He looks pretty good. 
So I was able to get Marty to pose with his headphones. Uh, as you can see, it was a little bit tricky though because they don't really fit over the head very well because the length is a little short. So you can see it doesn't really go from ear to ear, but it works well enough for a display, I think. So I have him holding the camcorder in his left hand and uh, I have him riding his skateboard here. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Here's a pose I was able to get with the Marty and Einstein figure together. I think it looks really good. The Marty figure, you know, it's got pretty good articulation. So I was able to pull off a pretty dynamic pose here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, I think Hot Toys did a really good job with this release. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know if any of you guys got this figure too, and let me know what your thoughts are. I think I'm definitely going to pick up the Doc Brown from part one. Let's try and get the Save the Clock Tower leaflet into hand here. It's supposed to go into this one. Here's Marty with the Save the Clock Tower pamphlet. He's also looking at the back. He's like, oh yeah, power of love, baby. Now, in case any of you were wondering, will Einstein fit in the DeLorean? Well, let's find out. Trying to be careful, believe me. Don't want to wreck the DeLorean. Oh my gosh, look at that. He barely fits. Kind of have to angle him in there though. but you really can't move him at all. He's just sort of stuck in this one position. All right, let's close the door. Yep, look at that, there he is. Yep, he fits, but barely. Now, will Marty fit? Let's find out. Yep, Marty fits, but as you can see, you kind of have to slouch him down a bit because otherwise his head's gonna stick up too high and the door won't close. So, yep, there you go. Let's close the door. There he is. Ready to go back to the future. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. Be sure to give the video a quick like and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.